Okay, so first you're going to put your case carefully on your lap, and you want to make sure that the name part is down on the bottom so the instrument's facing the right way, and then um, good, the handle's facing you, and then carefully open the latches. I should go up. There you go. And open it up. And there's three parts to the flute. The body, which is the longest part, the head joint, which has the hole in it, and the foot joint, which is the smallest one with the keys on it. So you want to take the foot joint in your right hand, which is the smallest one, good, and you want to take it like this and put your thumb on this key, good, so, and then you want to take the body of the instrument and put it in your left hand, good, and then watch what I'm doing here, you want to put it horizontally so that this little knob here lines up with the middle of this key on the body. So you twist it on, be careful not to force, and also you want to hold the body by the barrel, which is this part at the top without keys on it, so you don't bend keys. So carefully twist it on, good, and then line this up with the middle of this key. Good. Alright, now take this in your right hand, so by the barrel, and take the head joint in your left hand. You want to carefully twist that on, like I'm doing here horizontally. A little bit of pressure and then you want to match it up so that the point and yours is a little different the point here where it was over Bundy matches up with about the middle of the um, hole here so you can go ahead and put it on yep and that side there and just carefully twist yep and then you can twist to line it up and you can look at it vertically down like this to see if that matches up And then you can go ahead and put your case down and out of the way. Okay, so then for posture with our instrument, we want to think of a tripod. So you want your two legs and your behind on the seat being the tripod, and you want your back a little bit off of the back of the chair. Good. And then for finger placement, we're going to hold it starting vertically, just like you would a clarinet or an oboe. And your left hand goes on top, and your right hand goes on the bottom. Your left hand the second key here, if you look, your index finger goes there, and then you skip a key, and then your third, fourth, and your pinky will rest on that, that key up here. That'd be good. Yep. And then um, your right hand will do the last three bigger ones. Oh, your index finger goes there. Yep. One, two, three. And then it'll rest on that one with your pinky. Good. And you want your right hand to be curved like a C. So go ahead and show me like a C, like a big C. Good. And it'll be curved straight across like this. And your left hand will be slightly angled downward, the fingers. Where's this my thumb? Um, sorry. Your left thumb goes on this key right here. It rests on that key. And then your right thumb should go kind of just underneath your the index finger of your right hand. Yeah. <laughs> It'll feel a little better once we get it horizontal. Um, so your left hand angle downward, good. And so um, the base of your the knuckle of your left should rest there, which is good. Okay. Um, so now that we have our fingers in the right place, make sure that you have the ball of it. There you go. Yep. Um, so we're going to put it up horizontally now. And when you do that, watch really quick. Um, there's three balance points that you should have: the index finger when you have your on your left hand when it's angled downward, and then um, your right thumb and the pinky is your second balance point. Then your third balance point will be your chin, like this. Go ahead and try that out and just put your chin on the lip plate there. Yep. And when you do that, you also want, um, you're going to be angling downward slightly, and you want your lips to follow it though. Like right now what you're doing is this. Exactly, you want a line to be like that. You can figure out what angle is best for you. You can angle it up a little more. Just make sure that it's a straight line in the center of your lips. I know it's hard to do without a mirror, but try and feel that. Okay, good. Um, now that we have the instrument carriage, we'll work a little bit on breathing. Um, so with breathing, we want to make sure that we're taking breaths from the sides of our mouth and um, that it's low pitched, kind of like you're fogging up a mirror. There's a difference between and so you want that nice open cavity, almost like you're yawning or you're fogging up a mirror um, when it's cold out. 
And for embouchure, um, which is how you set your lips in order to play a note on the instrument, you want to say M pure. Go ahead and try saying that. M, M pure. pure. And you want the little tiniest hole possible when you say pure. See how your lips kind of pucker out a little bit? M, M pure. pure. Yeah. And um, so to try doing that, that's where you push the air through, that pure spot. But we do M to make sure that the lips are together. But you want your lips away from your teeth. You don't want them clenched like really hard against your teeth. So just think of a relaxed M, not a really tense one. Um, so to practice doing that, what you're going to do is hold your hand, your palm in front of your face, carefully put your instrument down, and um, say M, pure, and then blow right into the middle of your hand, so like this. So go ahead and try doing that. M, pure. Yeah, let me feel how you're breathing, so go ahead and blow on my hand. M, yeah, that's good, but try putting your hand in front of my face. I feel like your air is going a little too much like this, so let me show you on your hand. See how it's a little pinpoint? Try it again. Good, that looks better, what you're doing. Um, okay, now, just to practice, because on the flute, to get higher and lower notes, we have to move our direction of air against the lip plate. Um, I want you to do that again and put it in the center of your palm, and then put it at the bottom of your palm. So try and direct your air in the middle of your palm and then down toward your wrist. Good. All right, now let's try actually making a note on the instrument. So go ahead and carefully pull the head joint off of the flute. Carefully twisting, good. And what you want to do is have the open end to the right, which is good, and plug it up with your right hand and hold the other part like this. And you want to make sure that the um, hole is pointing directly up toward the ceiling perpendicular or parallel to the ground. And we want to practice going M pure and then blowing across the hole to the other side. So let me show you. Go ahead and try. Good. Make sure that your lip, you should feel, good, you should feel that the bottom of your lip, you can feel the edge of the hole closest to you with the bottom of your lip. And go ahead and line you up. Good. Try moving it a little more this way and angle your head just a little bit. It was just off center, just a little bit. There you go. Very, very good. Make sure you get a nice big breath and blow straight across. Very good. So that's your first tone on the flute. Nice job. Good sound. Okay, now put the head joint back on the body. Carefully lining it up. And just twist gently, yeah. And then to make sure it lines up, you can hold it like this again, with this closest to you, and check down and see if the hole lines up with that. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Good. Alright, now remember our finger placement. It goes on the second with the left. There you go, good. Remember they're angled downward so that you feel it in the knuckle of that. And then one, two, three, and pinky, good. So we're going to call where we are right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three starts with your left hand. And we're going to try playing a G. So what you do to play a G is you have one, two, three down. You have your thumb on this bigger key, the one to your right. Yep. And then your pinky on your right hand. This one right here. There you go. So it's one, two, three, your thumb, and your pinky. And the other fingers should rest lightly on top of the keys, but not pushing them down. Yep. So it should sound like this. And remember your, to angle your head so it's even. Good. So let's try playing a G. Just with the exact same air that you use just to make a sound on the head joint. Now adding your keys. This one right here, it should, this bigger one. There you go. Let me try playing it again. Good, try pushing this out a little bit. Angle, there you go. Try that.
think the pinpoint here is air. Good! Thank you! You got a G on the flute! Congratulations! Nice so job! Wonderful.